good morning respected principal teachers and all my dear friends i am dhanush gaikot from 7a would like to speak on the topic to make india self sufficient self sufficient india scheme was launched on 12th may 2020 by the prime minister narendra modi this scheme will run under the ministry of finance ministry of defense ministry of health and ministry of electronics and it the main motive of this scheme was to make india self sufficient india so that we can minimize at least small things it was launched to make indians encourage through their talent and knowledge pm modi defines atmanirbhar bharat as the state today teaches us that self sufficient india is the only path the self sufficient india should be where every individual person should get employment opportunity people must have a decent job that offers a good pay which will help in fulfilling their dreams i conclude by speech by saying if we together stay self sufficient the india will become self sufficient thank you good morning teachers and all my dear friends my name is farah rajesh ranade i am from 8e azadi ka amrit mahotsav is an ongoing celebration to commemorate the 75 glorious years of a progressive independent india we have come a long way and we need to reach a self magnificent heights how to make india self sufficient is my topic today to understand the topic let us first focus on some important aspects in which we are dependent on other countries and where we primarily need to become vocal for local the first aspect i would like to touch is oil and gas 80% we are dependent on other countries for oil and gas we have to import oil and gas in foreign currency that means that if the rupee price goes down it is a major cost we have to pay for the same today we have seen economic collapse due to the rising price of oil and gas latest example is bangladesh and sri lanka in india we are very lucky to have ample sunlight many seas and a mobilized wind therefore we can dwell with solar energy tidal energy and make use of water in the sea and with the help of electricity separate oxygen and hydrogen and use hydrogen as a importing fuel this method is called electrolysis friends if india uses its existing resources our oil and gas imports may come down i am happy that the government is working on it at least now the second important aspect i am going to touch is electrical equipment electrical equipment like com- smartphones and computers are key parts of india's import bill india has not been able to do sufficient value addition in this field except for assembly of these items 88% of the components used by the mobile handsets industry are imported from the countries like china remember friends china has always posed in threats to india that it be corona or usage of plastics or war threats the third aspect is logistics and farming india being a agricultural country we have overlooked many aspects that could make farming and farmers self sufficient we have only focus on subsidies which can be given logistics involves the finished product from the farmer to the market where we can purchase it for our homes the supply chain involves many agents actually the farmer get very little for his product and the consumer have to pay a heavy price for it quite good is earned by the agent actually only acting as a middleman if the supply chain is managed well the farmers will get good returns for his yield and the consumer can purchase it at a reasonable price this will create a win win situation again logistics would involve good storage facility these transportation modern equipments etc the tomatoes which we pay 80 rupees for a kg are just thrown away by farmers if the transportation price increases These are perishable items and we do not have good storage capacity to hold on as China has. Modern equipments are the by products for any success stories related for being self sufficient. Fourth area of heavy dependency is the medical field. Although India prescribes very heavy medications on even small diseases which is not in case with the other foreign countries. We import some key ingredients for antibiotics and vitamins which are not manufactured in India. This import is also very huge. Similarly, devices like ventilators are also rely on imports of several crucial components like certain valves and sensors. Even for military equipment, we have to depend on Russia. Friends, many things we import and slowly can move towards self-reliant base because Indian brains are valued all over the world. They are hired giving good prices across the globe. Then why can't 
can't they be go even good folded here back in India? Why have we to only be relying more and taking and talking more only on caste, community, religion and reservations? Not only educated, we need to be more civilized. We are very much self-reliant in the textile industry. Why can't we make it globally? Ultimately, we have to be vocal for that what is local. Friends, 75th year is very important of independence. But every year of independence for that matter is important because our forefathers have given their lives for this independence. It could not and never happen that after we lose this independence, God forbid, do we really understand the meaning of being independent? If yes, let us educate ourselves, be more civilized and understand our culture and our country in a more better manner. Thank you.